Hey, what to do, y'all? What to do? What to do? In the previous video that I talked about sex dolls, I pretty much gave you my overall thoughts and views about it. If you have not seen that video, just wait until the end of this video and you'll see that previous video pop up on the screen. Just click on it and check it out. Now, today I just want to talk about kind of how things could end up because of these sex dolls. Well, with that said, as I've said before, there's really two types. You know, one is a sex doll and one is a sex robot. Most guys who got sex dolls now are just waiting for the sex robots to show up. So that's part of the future. The sex robots versus the sex doll. You know, guys are waiting guys are waiting for that uh sex robot that's what they're waiting on now the issue really is i had someone leave a comment and or at least they had this discussion with me if you will they they left a comment but then decided to have a discussion about it um in a i don't know it was a video that i had checked out and there was a YouTuber talking about sex dolls and you know, more or less the comment, uh, it was stemmed across this conversation about, you know, um, with men wanting sex dolls, that's the end of this population, you know, cause it takes men to create children, you know? The woman doesn't actually create the child, she just holds the child that the man put inside of her, literally, you know, like, I mean, of course it took procreation, it took her egg, mix it with his sperm, but it starts with the man putting that seed in her, and then she just carries the incubation of that procreation for nine months. That's how that goes. Now, uh, but with that said, there's this issue up there's, there's this upcoming issue about things becoming more androgynous. So now they're actually able to make artificial wombs to be put inside of men that cross over to be women, if you will. You know, they go through the surgery to become surgically like a woman, if you will. So that's what's going on. Um, I won't say it's really the end of the population, it's more or less the change of a population. One can see it as the end of our population as we know it. You know, things are going to continue to get a little bit weird in these times to come, if you will. But I guess it just depends on how some things go, once again. Um, but nevertheless, this brings back the issue of this idea of a sex doll or even a sex robot. Some guys are aware of how a lot of things will become androgynous. And some guys just want to avoid that because they do want to have a sense of feeling something naturally feminine. So these artificial, uh, how can I put this? These artificial manifestations, if you will, <laughs> these sex robots and sex dolls will basically be like, in a man's mind, his only way to relate to the feminine, unless there is a chance he does run into a real woman or a female that's becoming a woman. You know, in the times to come, it's gonna be harder to tell because of people that crossover with the way they look, whether it's transsexual or just being more or less like a cross-dresser, but it's going to be very hard to tell who's who. But things will become more androgynous too, which that's sort of similar to transsexual or cross-dressing, but androgyny more or less is you could actually be born as two genders upon a lot of genetic ma manipulation. So I see a lot of that possibly occurring, especially with this idea of an artificial womb, 
for some you'll have um, an artificial uh, uh, penile gland if you will not pineal gland for those that are spiritual I said penile you know they got artificial penile glands too that they're working on I mean some I mean I think the the penile gland I believe that's artificial it's in the early stages of development and uh, artificial wound is in the more advanced station it's in the more advanced stages of development but nevertheless all this that guys have to think about in regards to their preferences their choices their options in regards to encountering the feminine gender you know it's just going to be hard i'm not necessarily talking about guys that call themselves not wanting to be around women but you still have a sex doll you know or you're waiting on a sex robot i'm not talking about those type of guys i'm talking about guys who really decided to get these dolls or robots because it's just going to be harder to tell who's who in the future Signing out.